You know, there's always the special episode that talks to you about serious issues, you know? Tonight, on a very special elf. That's what this one is. That's what this story time is. It's just warning you now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, Mr. Steve. I am coming to you today once again from my wife's workspace, which is so beautiful and not filled with tchotchkes that I am jealous. I wasn't sure what I was going to do for story time. I'm still not entirely sure what this story time today is because it might be emotional i was going to read a berenstain bears book that's kind of spooky a little bit scary or it was to me when i when i was like eight but it's difficult to be happy right now because if the pandemic outside doesn't get you, then the violent injustice might. Maybe I'm just saying that because I am not pale. I'm trying to say this in a way where I can still continue to be a children's entertainer. I don't want to get too much into politics. Because this is a kid's channel. But also, me personally, I always try to be honest with people and not talk down to children. That's one thing that Mr. Steve believes in. I always feel that, like, the way that I talk to children is not different than the way I would talk to a co-worker or a friend or a best friend or if my older brother and I were hanging out at a restaurant I would talk to all of those same people the same way and so I try to to not talk down to children but I understand it if if there are parents out there who don't want their kids to hear that and I want to respect that but this world is filled with a lot of injustice, and sometimes it's difficult to stay positive. But I still wanted to do a story time today because, number one, I promised that I would do a, a video a day during the pandemic, and I have continued to do a video a day since March 10th, and it's almost June, and I'm proud of that in a strange way. And I hope that people are enjoying it, and it seems like it is. This channel is very popular. And one of the things that I like about Mr. Steve, the person, the character, is that he is a very positive person. Very positive and upbeat in ways that the dad at home taking care of these kids might not be. So, instead of reading the spooky Berenstain Bears book, I got a special book. It's right here, and it's called You're My Little Dilly Booge. I don't know what language that is. Might be Norwegian? Swedish. Swedish. Oh wait, Cuddlebug. I see it now. Cuddlebug. Okay, written and illustrated by people. You're my little ladybug. You're in France and you fight weird crimes. Oh, different ladybug. Different ladybug. You're my little ladybug. You brighten up my day. Well, thanks. With rosy cheeks, you smile at me and chase my blues away. You're my baby bumblebee named Barry B. Benson. And he doesn't want to follow in his parents' footsteps. You're going to be a star? I, I can't hit that high, high note. There's a high note there. You're going to be a star? Almost. I almost had it. Hold on. Let, let's, let's, hold on. We're going to do this. Let's do this right. Uh, 
Honey, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to be in the video. I'm okay. filming myself. Can you hit the note with you're going to be a stirrer? Oh, really? I can't do it at all. And it's just, it, I figure if we're going to do this, it's not gonna work. I know, but I figure if we're going to do this, then let's do it right. Okay, I'm going to get it wrong now, just so you know. Okay, well, you'll probably do it better than me. Ugh, okay, um... <clears throat> we'll take two takes. Okay, okay. that's fine. You're going to be a starter? Nice! You really nailed it there. I don't even know if you need the second take. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because you did it great. That's, that's, see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's continue back into the workspace. Might just keep all of that because that was great. Okay. You're my baby bumblebee. <laughs> I love my YouTube channel. You're my baby bumblebee. You are so very sweet. You fill my days with lots of joy, like honey, you're a treat. You're my caterpillar, you're ticklish through and through. I'm glad you're not a human caterpillar. I love to make you giggle, and you make me laugh too. My shining moon, my shooting star, no matter who you are, do do do, do shine a bright to see, do do do, do what you can truly be, truly be. That was from my favorite Muppet movie, Muppets from Space. The one with NWO Hulk Hogan, and the one where Gonzo has made an alien and they never bring it up again. My shining moon, my shooting star, you'd brighten any sky. Mothra. There's no one who's more beautiful, my darling butterfly. So when the night is beetle black, and daytime's at an end. We'll snuggle up two cuddle bugs and sleep, my little friends. A special story time for a, a special book for a special story time. I uh, care about all of you who are watching, and I hope you stay safe. I hope that we still live in America where bad people get punished for the bad things they've done, and innocent people don't have to worry about losing their life for something as small as wearing a hood or having Skittles or playing with a toy in a driveway or spending a $20 bill. I want everyone to be safe and i want us to be able to be happy again and i hope that you are okay and i hope that everyone out there is doing their part to make sure that we can all be safe i think that's a good place to end it you know what this can be this is this can be one of those i i i was raised by two very important people that cared about me. Broadcast television and cable television. And I was raised on a lot of sitcoms, a lot of TV shows, and there's always tonight on a very special episode of Blossom. You know, there's always the special episode that talks to you about serious issues, you know? Tonight, on a very special elf. That's what this one is. That's what this story time is. It's just warning you now. <laughs> but I still think it was fun. We had some laughs, which is good. It's important to laugh. And I hope that you're all okay. I care about you guys. And thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>